Good morning, friends. Derek Doherty here. Time for a daily devotional. Hope you're having a great day. Welcome. This morning, I want to ask the question of, what about honor? 1 Corinthians chapter 12, 22 through 24. In fact, some parts of the body that seem weakest and least important are actually the most necessary. And the parts we regard as less honorable are those we clothe with greatest honor. So we are, so we carefully protect those parts that should not be seen, while the more honorable parts do not require this special care. The cliche that when things dissipate, dissipate or disappear in our culture, they've gone the way of the dodo bird. According to the American Museum of Natural History, the dodo is a lesson in extent, in extent extinction. Found by Dutch ex soldiers in the 1600s on an island in the Indian Ocean, the dodo became extinct less than 80 years later because of deforestation, hunting, and destruction of their nests by animals brought to the island by the Dutch. Survival of the fittest aside, we can all learn a lesson from the dodo's demise. When the natural order is disturbed, things often go afoul. Recently, the snow crab population in Alaska plummeted by billions in 2022 due to a warmer water, which kicked the crab's metabolism into overdrive. Basically, there simply wasn't enough food to support their amped up appetites and they starved to death. What does this have to do with honor? The topic of today. A lot, actually. Consider your social spheres, news cycles, and the basic tone of our nation today. Do you see a lot of honor taking place? It's there if you dig for it. And in some places, you might need to have a jackhammer to get through the multiple layers of name calling, one up and, and dirty dealings. As God's people, we need to consciously fight. For honor, the honor of those under our protection, those in our families, and give honor often and freely. Compliment those you love. Talk to your fellow workers and employees. Give a kind word to the elderly you see on your daily walk, and particularly give a good tip to your favorite barista. Honor doesn't happen by accident. In a world where honor is endangered, God's people are called to bring a biblical perspective back from the brink of modern cultural extinction. Let's pray. Lord our God, help us to honor at least one person today with a compliment, a kind word, an action, so that we, like you, may continue to share honor and respect. In your wonderful name, Lord, we pray. Amen. Peace and God's blessings, friends. Have a wonderful day. Bye for now.